Nevada has fluctuated from number four to number eight in the nation as far as suicide rates. But there's a group here in Nye County, Pahrump, that is helping to provide resources to people in need. Well, we're trying to educate people on signs of suicide. We're trying to give our people more, better coping skills when they feel that they're depressed and there's nothing for them in life anymore. Um, we're trying to raise funds. Um, we are going to be doing counseling and training counselors. Um, outside of that, we are in the community talking to people. We are grassroots effort. Tammy started this off. She hired me as her executive director. Um, Tammy, you have... Tammy, how long have you been doing this for out here? Uh, I've been working on it since probably last spring. Linda from the state used to come out and do the uh, suicide awareness classes. She trained me to do the one hour and four hour classes. Uh, we did the walk last September. Uh, this year we're going to be doing it again September 15th uh, in Dutch Park. And it's uh, Walk in Memory, Walk in Hope. And uh, we're looking for committees right now. So anybody out there wants to be involved and wants to help out, please call me at 702-266-4926. How, well, how received has this been out here? Has this been a well-received thing? Because a lot of times suicide is kind of a taboo topic with a lot of people. Has this been well-received so far? Yeah, it has been well-received. I think people realize that it's a problem here considering that we're number four in the nation. As far it, as it rotates suicides. between the last 20 years we've been in the top five every year just about uh, yeah. so so it's a you know it's a, it is a big problem it is well received it is a dark topic mm -hmm. I mean people don't like to talk about it because what did I do wrong as a parent you know why didn't I recognize the signs you know and we want to help the families that lost people we want to help people that are going or trying we have to make people aware that when people say it to take it seriously that they mean it when someone says I'm gonna kill myself don't just walk away and say well everybody says that you know look at the person talk to the person look into their eyes you know and have their body motions and see you know what's going on and a lot of the concern with most people is within their families but it's also something that you guys try to um, bring awareness about is that you need to be looking for this through with other people in your community aside from your family. Right now we have a training once a month. Uh, Paul comes out from the VA hospital in Vegas. He's their uh, suicide prevention coordinator and he gives a wonderful talk on, on everything to look for. And even though it's geared towards veterans and PTSD, I've sat through four of his classes. They're all different and it depends, you get to ask questions, you get to learn the signs, get to know what to say, and get to know who to call, when to call, without overreacting or without missing a sign. So it's real important. Uh, we have it now, is every uh, last Friday of every month, and it's at the hospital from one to three. So we hope to uh, fill the room this time.